So the aim of this experiment is to study the function of an operational amplifier, so as an inverting as well as a non-inverting non amplifier, and uh, determine its voltage gain and verify the formulas. So now the connection is goes as such for the inverting for the first I'll do for the inverting terminal that is from for the in, in, for the inverting amplifier I'll connect it in this way. The two should go to 10 k ohms that is from here to here. From 10 k ohms it is it is coming to the output that is six. Okay, now from here we'll connect it to the positive of the DVM that is here. And from the negative, we'll connect it to the ground. Done. So this connection is done. So the next connection is the three has to be connected to ground. Then it becomes an inverting terminal. So the three from here, I'm connecting directly to the ground. Now, the next is going to be from. Just a moment. Yeah. So we'll complete the, this uh, this part of the circuit as well. That is from two to one k ohm from 2 to 1 kilo ohms and we'll be connecting 1 kilo ohms to just and we'll, we'll be connecting 1 kilo ohm to the 1 kilo ohm to the positive of the variable that is here this is a variable we can see there is an arrow over here so this means this is a variable okay and from the variable of sec, uh, the, the negative of the variable will be connected back to the ground that is here Okay, so the circuit is complete, but without giving the source, the op amp won't work. So basically, you have to connect 7 to plus 12. Done, and you're going to connect minus 12 to fourth terminal. But to read the potential across the um, to read the input voltage, we do need a multimeter over it because there's no digital over here. So we'll just connect this to here, that is positive end to the positive end and the negative end to the negative end, that is from negative of the variable to negative of the multimeter. So keep it in DC because the current has been passed in DC but the amplification will be in easy. So now along the path is, it's done. Now adjust the variable in such that you get 1 volt as the reading in the multimeter. Check the reading in the multimeter. It is 1.03 volts. Corresponding to this, we are getting the voltage as minus 9.61. So basically, the table will be constructed like this. For the inverting amplifier, the V in that is what you read in the multimeter that is 1.03, that is approximately to 1.0 uh, volts. The output we are getting in terms of minus 9.75. The minus sign is very much important. Please note it, the minus sign is much important because that is how the inverting terminal occurs. So multimeter uh, reading is going to be around 1.05 volts. So we we'll write it in the V in. This is V in. And the V out, which we get it through our DVM. That is, we got it as minus 9.74. Please write it with the sign. So it is minus 9.74. So basically the gain, gain will be AV, that is nothing but V out by V in. You will be getting it as minus 9.94. In this case, we will be getting it as minus 9.74 divided by 1, that is minus 9.74. Now next, change the variable, this variable setting, you see, this variable setting such that you get the multimeter reading is 0.8. Yeah, around 0.8. Okay. okay. So when this happens, you can see that yeah. when it's around 0.8. Yeah. So when it's around 0.8, we can see that the gain is sorry, the output voltage is this much. So same way you tabulate it as this much. That is 0.8, and you write the output and find the gain. So this is for the inverting terminal. You can take it up to plus uh, 0.2 and then you have to change it to the negative value. Okay, and you just measure it. So you'll be getting it in minus. The positive half, uh, positive half. Uh, 
it is for the uh, positive volt, volt that is uh, in V in should be positive. But for it to become negative now, you just change the polarity of this multimeter over here, and you also change the polarity of the output which you get here. So basically, there will be a polarity reverse. So now, if you see, if you do change the input. Now we'll keep it at minus point eight. Okay, minus point eight. We are getting it as plus six point nine three. So when you do take the clean like this, that is minus point eight, you will get the output as plus. Okay, you will be getting the gain as minus. Okay. So basically, for the inverting amplifier, the gain should be minus values only. Should not change. So the gain values will be always negative. Okay, please understand this. For inverting, it will be negative. For non-inverting, it will be always it should be positive. For non-inverting, it should be positive. It should be it should be negative for the inverting. Non-inverting, it should be positive. Now, this is for self connection. We have done the inverting terminal. We have got all the values as well down over here. So for the non-inverting terminal, we are going to basically uh, you know verify the non non-inverting terminal. So for starting the non-inverting terminal, it's going to be the same. Connect minus twelve to four, plus twelve to seven. That is the initial connection which you're going to do. Then from two to one k volts, that is basically the same connection which you've done. And from one k to one k to ground ring. There we have connected it to variable, but now we are not connecting it to variable. We are directly connecting to ground. Instead, the variable will come across the third terminal. That is the three terminal. Two positive, and you just connect yes, the negative or uh, the the negative of the variable to the ground. That is this connection you are supposed to give. Then same. Now from three. Now from uh, so basically from six. That is from the output now. So from two again connected to ten k. That is as usual. We have done, and from 10k we can connect it to output. That is six. Fine. Shorter wire. Okay. So from 10k to six. Okay. Now from the six we have to connect it to ground again. Is working now. Okay. So from six to the Grounding. So we have connected everything. So we have connected everything. We have to connect the multimeter. It's going to be the same same case. So connect the positive of it to the positive of the variable and the negative of it to the negative of the variable. And then yeah, from see from basically from six not directly to the ground. Just a moment. From six you okay. Okay, so basically this is going to be the same setup as an in, uh, uh, inverting amplifier, but you will just connect the two to ground and then three across the variable. That's all is the difference. So this is the difference over here, as you can see. Now we have started the point. We'll start the circuit thing. Okay. So now I'll set the voltage to be one in my multimeter. Yeah, it's around one, and we can see the amplification factor over here is going to be eleven point zero nine as per the theoretical experiment. Theoretical values. So for one, uh, for one V in, that is for non-inverting terminal, one volt as V in, we'll get 11.09 as the V out. So the gain will be nothing but V out by V in. So that is as per like same usual. It's AV is equals to V out by V in. So continued for different values, you'll be getting it. And to change the reverse uh, polarity, just change the same thing. That is, you just connect this to this and this to this. That is, change the reverse the polarity over here and reverse the polarity here also. Done. So now, if I give a small variable over here, that is, uh, if I give around, say, I'm giving around 0.4 volts, I'm getting minus 3.79 as the amplifier, uh, like the output voltage. So when you divide it, you're going to get positive. So basically, remember that for inverting amplifier, it has to be a negative gain, and for non-inverting, it has to be a positive gain. So now next, uh, when you move on to the graph, you just draw the graph in very simple way. That is, you just take for the inverting amplifier, you just take the voltage across the Yeah, you just take uh, v output in the y-axis, v input across the, the x-axis, and just plot the graph. For an inverting terminal, you will be getting y is equals to minus x graph. That is basically a straight line passing through a region in the second and the third or fourth quadrant. 
But for the non-inverting terminal, when you take the same graph that is input in y x axis and output in y axis, you are going to get a straight line y is equal to x graph. So basically, uh, straight line passing through the origin in both first uh, first uh, first quadrant and the third quadrant. So when you find the slope of these two graphs, you are going to get nothing but the voltage gate. So that is v output by v in. If you find the slope here, that's v output by v in. That is slope. Slope is nothing but voltage gain over here. That's done. And when you find the voltage gain, theoretically, what you would expect is theoretically for an inverting terminal, you would expect the this to be minus 10 because as we can see here, we have connected it to 10 kilo ohms and 1 kilo ohms. So basically, for the inverting terminal, A B is nothing but R F by R I. So R F by R I is 10 by mi minus 10 by 1, so which is minus 10. Experimentally, we can find the value using slope, and then. For the inverting terminal, sorry, for the non-inverting terminal, we can see that it's 10 and 1, but for the voltage gain will be 1 plus Rf by Rn, as we can see over here. And so here, when we just find it out, we are going to get a theoretical as 11, but the experimental value will be getting it using the slope. So this is how we are going to find it out. This is about inverting and non-inverting operational amplifier.